Hey guys, it's Lexi. I am filming my Bathing Garden Halloween collection um, haul here. I did already go ahead and open it, but I haven't like fully unboxed it. I just wanted to take out my little invoice here with the like shipping information. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of like what everything looks like. And I'm sure if you've seen some of like the Bathing Garden hauls online, you already know, but the packaging and every like all the attention to detail is just too cute for me not to do a close-up video. So that's why I'm kind of switching it up today. I did place quite a large order and everything has to be like individually unwrapped. So there might be a little bit of cutting here and there between the video, but I love the bathing garden stuff and especially for the Halloween season. So I wanted to share it. So jumping right into this video, this is how everything kind of comes packaged with bubble wrap. And then it has a little spooky treats, a weight sticker here, if you can see that. Um, I'll have to maybe like do a little zoom in situation. Spooky treats await. And then you kind of peel everything back, has cute tissue paper, very fun theme. And we've got everything presented in this box here. I'm filming on the ground. But everything is kind of laid out very nicely with tissue papers. And this bag here is the sample bag that she sends, which is just overly generous and I just so appreciate it. So. Besides having the invoice right on top with all of the information, you also are gifted like this very generous, um, big ol' just goodie bag, really. So that's awesome. And all of the wax has like fun wrapping paper colored for like Halloween. So I'm going to share my samples for the very end, like save those for the end, and we'll jump into what I actually did receive. So. I think most of you maybe know if you've seen some of these hauls, Bathing Garden, you have to look up the actual set notes like online. So for that reason, I'm not gonna go hunting for them. I'm just going to list them either in the description or in this like video somewhere here for you guys to check out. But I'm just gonna tell you what I smell. So first things first, I did go ahead and pick up a Faded Opulence Jumbo Clamshell. And these jumbo clamshells, I typically only pick them up if it's a scent that I've tried before and I really love from them. But this scent is amazing. Faded Opulence is like a spiced Coca-Cola scent. But to my nose, it really kind of reminds me of like almost the powdery quality that you get from the Coca-Cola bottle cap candy. I love also like all of the dried roses here and like the little skeleton shape wax mold. I think all of it is just so beautiful. Um, Bathing Garden also has so much glitter and stuff, so I'm going to make a mess here, but that is totally okay with me because I feel like the beauty and art of this wax is totally worth the mess. So I just think it's just so darn pretty. And just smelling it, like opening it, I can smell it from here. It smells amazing. So that is Faded Opulence. Moving on, I know, oh, this one looks like it is a little um, fun surprise too. It says thank you with little bath. So let's tear into this guy which obviously this one is something I did not buy for myself. Oh, Abominable Snowman, which is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's the actual like claymation guy, you guys. That is just too darn cute and he is adorable. So let me give him a sniff. I'm not sure the scent notes. Ooh, he is definitely very minty, very fresh and clean. I love him. There's something also kind of sweet though. I'm not sure if maybe it's like a mint and berry or something. Once again, I'll leave the notes if I can find them, but how darn cute is he? So, so cute. Very excited about that. Now that I kind of showed you how the box was packed, everything was individually wrapped, like including every single one of these little clamshells, which is just amazing. So I did go ahead and unwrap everything. It just would be so much easier for me. So like I mentioned, um, I'm just gonna leave the scent notes, but let me just kind of go through them by one and quickly share my thoughts. So this one here is pistachio pumpkin, and I have been on a big pistachio kick. I love how adorable this little guy is. I'll take him out for you. Everything is just decorated and put together with so much love and thought and attention, and I just really appreciate that. I feel like there's a lot of work that goes into these, and it is very much appreciated. So this pistachio pumpkin is definitely a very... Um, this is more of it like a nutty leaning pistachio to my nose. I know of course things can change once you warm them up, but based on the cold sniff from the bag, this smells more of like a realistic pumpkin. I think the bathing garden has like a very realistic, like almost like pumpkin flesh kind of a pumpkin scent mixed with a nutty pistachio. Very excited about this. Then over here we've got a little tart in dragon's glare or dragon glare. And this one I picked up because it is just, it was so beautiful on the website. So let me take this one out as well. 
because once again, you have to just appreciate the art of these. Don't want to ruin that because it's so pretty. But look at this. Oh my gosh. It literally looks like a dragon's eye. Like, I think that's just so incredible. Like, in all of, like, the, the work. Oh, it's beautiful. So, this one smells like... I think that there is patchouli in this. Maybe jasmine or, like, cinnamon. Ooh, this one smells... This one smells really, really good. It's like a spicy, earthy kind of a scent. I, I can't tell if it's like patchouli or if it's like jasmine. Um, and I think I've got patchouli and jasmine on my mind because today was the Bathing Gardens um, launch of their Christmas scents and they have angelic patchouli out and you know your girl's gonna get that because it is my favorite scent. I love it so much. So I've got a little sample down here and actually I think I picked this one up on my own. There's Theo featuring Theo. Hello. <laughs> um, so we've got um, burnt banana brains. And this one is, of course, in like a little brain shape. Don't eat that, Theo. So let me see if I can take this one out. It might be hard to kind of get out of the package. So I'm going to kind of squeeze this one. This is a little brain shape, of course. If you are squeamish, look away. But I think that this is just so cool. And it smells like, this smells like banana nut bread to me like a very realistic banana with some cinnamon spices and stuff. So that one is amazing. That is banana, burnt banana brains. Love that. Love the cute labels on these two, like the little brain in a bucket. <laughs> so funny. Then we've got some wax. So let's quickly go through the wax and then I'll end it with the body care and the sample. So this is the Welsh witch, which has got like a little, I think that's got to be like some kind of a Welsh, Welsh symbol with some sparkles and some dried like peel or not peel, some dried leaves and flowers and stuff. Ooh, and this one is very fresh and clean, almost slightly soapy to my nose. I'm not sure why or what the scent notes are, but it's almost like soapy. I like that. This one is pumpkin marshmallow cookie jar. And this is one that I did try before and I really enjoyed. So I wanted to pick up some more of that. And this one smells exactly like what you would imagine. It is a very, 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 very sweet vanilla, almost like a marshmallowed. Um, oh, well, it is marshmallow cookies. So like a very um, rich marshmallow, like, but like a, you know, the marshmallow fluff, not like a hard marshmallow that you like stick on a stick and roast. This is like a flip, like a fluffy whipped marshmallow kind of a scent like a liquefied marshmallow um, with like that pumpkin cookie. Really good. This one is twigs and berries. And I think this is one I maybe got a sample of. I think maybe. Um, love the color. Love the color of the glitter with the like teal blue. Love it. And this one kind of reminds me of, um, I mean, it's definitely a fruity scent, but it almost reminds me of like a certain candy. Oh, there goes Theo running to his food bowl. Um, kind of reminds me almost like of like a blue raspberry or like a raspberry kind of a scent. Really love that. Then we have Poison Apothecary. And Poison Apothecary has just the coolest clamshell ever with some glitter. Love that. I think this one is like a cinnamony kind of clove type scent. Kind of smells um, like spicy, but also something kind of smells like musky about this. I'm not entirely sure. I can't wait until I like read the note, the actual notes, and it's going to be like way off, like just so off. Um, but I'm just trying to do this in a hurry. This is like my last video of like six today, so I'm getting tired. Um, this one here is Cherry Cauldron Goo. This is another one I maybe have had in a sample. Red wax with some like black spiders and stuff on it. Just so beautiful. It's got like a little witch flying over. And oh man, this is really, really, really good. This is a good realistic cherry knot. This is almost like a baked cherry type scent to me, not a cough medicine cherry. But keep in mind, I also really enjoy all cherry. So if you hate cherry, then you might not like that one either way. This is Cemetery Keys. This is a scent that I did have in a sample last year and I really enjoyed. So I picked it up. I like wrote down notes of things that I liked last year. So when it came back out for the relaunch 
I'll like restock this year. I could pick them up. So this was one that I had written down. I think this is one maybe Tom liked, but um, really beautiful. It's got like a little tombstone key and some like looks like I think those are probably rose petals. So beautiful. Oh, and this one is just like the prettiest, like sweetest, almost like edible floral. I know that sounds weird, but it almost smells like a candied floral scent, but it's not like rose, I don't think. There might be rose in it, but it's not like a rose heavy. It's just like a sweet, almost like if you were at like a flower shop and you were like eating a lollipop or something. That's what that smells like to me. This one here is Batty Caramel Apple, which this one I just thought, I just love caramel apple scents and I, I thought the little clamshell online was just so cute. So I couldn't, I couldn't deny it. And you like cannot go wrong with a caramel apple scent. And this literally smells just like the caramel apple scent from Bath and Body Works and the candle that I love. So very excited to have that. I was incredibly intrigued by the name of this one, which is Chocolate Chai Frogs. And I've been loving chai scents in Vendor Wax. So this one has little chocolate frogs hopping around like it looks like a little green swamp with some glitter. How stinking adorable is that? I mean, I think it's stinking adorable. <laughs> so in it, this one is more chocolate than chai on cold to my nose. It definitely kind of reminds me of like, um, like a Hershey chocolate bar chocolate type scent. So excited to see if the chai comes out more on warm with that. We have Huckleberry Grape Smash Pops. And I want to say this is one that I also wrote down from last year that I really enjoyed. Love the color on this. And I've been enjoying Huckleberry scents. This one is just too darn beautiful, right? So let me give it a sniff. Yes, and this is one I do, I do remember this, I think, from last year. Definitely a very like grapey type berry scent. So if you enjoy like grape scents and wax, you'd probably like this. Um, I don't know if huckleberry is also like a grape leaning berry, but the grape in this is definitely very predominant. So enjoy that one on cold. I'm sure I'll love it even more on warm. I think that is one that I melted in just a sample last year, but sometimes the samples really work. So this one here is Mummy Mademoiselle, and I think this also might have been one I had. And this one has the cutest little pink mummy here with some more dried flowers on it and glitter. And this one is, I don't remember why I picked this one up. This one is very, very rose heavy to me. I do not know why I picked this one up. I must have melted it and loved it or something. Um, but this is definitely a very rose heavy scent to my nose with like a creamy kind of sweetness in the background. So I'll have to get back to you guys on that. But sometimes I just buy things because they sound cute or that they look cute. Maybe that was why, I don't know. This one I know for a fact I loved and made myself buy a backup this year. It's November's Pumpkin. This is, I think there's like patchouli in this. Um, patchouli and pumpkin, of course. Mm, and something else, some spices, but really a beautiful, beautiful scent. Very happy to have more of that. And then finally for the clamshells that I purchased, this is... Um, Magic Green Soup. And this one, I'm not entirely sure why I picked this one up. I think maybe there's like lime or something kind of fresh. There's something kind of fresh about this one. Almost like like soapy maybe even. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it's got a cute little cauldron down there. I mean, how cute is that? Very adorable. So that is a Magic Green Soup. I picked up three of the body care um, like sugar scrubs and stuff. The first one I have is Faded Opulence. This is that Coca-Cola kind of bottle cap scent to me, spicy Coca-Cola scent. I do have this in another um, sugar scrub, but I wanted a backup, so I did pick it up because it only comes around once a year, so that is why I did that. I also go uh, went ahead and picked up Toxic Earth in a body butter coffee, body butter sugar scrub. I had this last year in a smaller size. I bought it for Tom thinking he would use it and enjoy it more, but I actually fell in love with this scent. It just smells like you're rubbing coffee grounds all over your body and that is like my dream. I love that. So I picked up more. And then this one is November's Pumpkin, which is that scent that I just showed you in the clamshell. And I loved it so much that I wanted to try it because I saw it was available in the um, coconut oil sugar scrub. So I did go ahead and pick it up. And finally, we will really quickly go over this little sample bag here. So let me pull this string and get into it. All right. So one at a time, I will pull out these samples. This is a cute little pumpkin shape here in a wickedly whimsical autumn. I think I have tried this one before. 
and it just smells like a very realistic pumpkin with some vanilla, I think, mixed in. That one is beautiful. The next free little sample here is a Snow Globe World. I saw that this one is available on the site now for the winter release, and I was curious about it, so I'll give it a sniff. Ooh, this is definitely um, very like a very creamy peppermint scent. It's honestly, it's not offensive. I feel like this would be a peppermint that I could definitely enjoy. So I might pick this one up possibly. This one here is a sample in the deer tree and the partridge. And it looks like it's a like a little egg, I think maybe. I think it's a little egg shape. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think it's I don't know what this is, a strawberry? I don't really know. Um, oh no, it's a pear, <laughs> duh. It's a pear, it's a pear shape. Oh, the pear tree, duh, Alexis. It's the pear tree in the partridge. The partridge in a pear tree, duh. Um, it, it, it just smells like a pear. That smells like a very authentic pear to me. <laughs> this is a little like swirly Christmas shape here in vetiver bells. So I'm sure it's a smell like vetiver and this does smell like vetiver. Also smells like there is um, maybe some pine cone in here. Some of the pine cone oil, very pretty scent. We've got cranberry spice, which I'm sure will smell like cranberries. I love getting to try all the Christmassy scents before the launch so I can see if I like them. This one is nice, um, just like a spicy cranberry scent, of course. We have, the next one is sugar plum strawberry Santa. And this is such a cute label. I love like the vintage-y looking Santa. I don't know, I think that's so cool. Ooh, 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 this one is interesting. Okay, I might have to pick this one up in a clamshell because that one smells quite lovely. Definitely um, an interesting take on a Christmas scent because of strawberry. I feel like it's not usually Christmas related, but I enjoy that quite a bit. This is a large tart shape here, very pretty. And it is in Krampus, which I've never tried from them. So let's give this one a go. Mm. This one, this one is definitely a tree scent. Um, but there's something, there's something more to it that I can't place. It's almost like cranberry. It's maybe like a cranberry orange and a tree scent. It kind of smells like. Here we've got a little snowflake shape. And this little snowflake is in gingerbread pear caramel. So let's give him a go. Ooh, definitely um, very, I feel like it's almost like more pear than anything. It's like pear and then you get like a gingerbread. Very interesting. This is tincture of shadow. That's cool. So this one is like a little, I don't even know what this shape is. I, don't, I have no idea what this shape is. Oh, I think it's supposed to be like a little, um, I think this little guy is supposed to be like a Dracula, maybe. Ooh, um, he kind of smells Christmassy too, which I feel like he's probably part of the Halloween collection, but he almost smells minty, tincture of shadow. He almost smells a little bit minty to me. So that's tincture of shadow. We've got a holiday bubbles, holiday baubles. I'm not sure. And this one looks like, I do not know what kind of shape this is. Um, hmm. I don't even know what this is. Sometimes I see the shapes and I'm like, what is this? If anybody knows what this is supposed to be, let a girl know, because I have no idea. I think it's just a pretty design. Um, not entirely sure. That one kind of smells like oranges too to me. I like oranges and pine cones. Uh, looks like that one's a body care. We have Crimson Mummy, and Crimson Mummy is in a little mummy shape, guy. Ooh, that one, I am not sure, but I don't think I love that one. This one is an ice cream scoop in Apple Spearmint Crunch Ice Cream. It's getting dark here. I'm trying to race against the sun. I'm not a big spearmint fan, so I don't love that, but it is a creamy spearmint, so if you like that, you'd probably enjoy it. Cinnamon Apple Marzipan Cake, and I think... I think I feel like almost I've tried this one. Ooh, definitely very, very cinnamon, apple heavy. Very pretty though. And then this one is like the cutest little ghost shape ever. And he is in boo, which is so funny. Okay. He is, mm, 
He is definitely a very fruity scent. I'm not sure what else he's blended with, but it is fruity. And then this one is Cemetery Keys, and I picked that one up in a clamshell myself, so I'm excited. This looks like it is a sugar scrub, so very excited about that, because this is a scent that I love. Awesome. And that is it, you guys. That is my entire bathing garden haul. I know it's a little bit rushed and everything, and it was getting darker, so thank you so much for sticking with me. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this and I cannot wait to melt some of these. I think for the most part, I'll probably hold on to the majority of these for next um, next October. But yeah, very excited for all of these. So thank you so much for watching and have an awesome Halloween. Talk to you guys later. Bye.